Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.6 Beta 1. Apple has finally released iOS 17.6 Beta 1 today. And in this video, we are going to talk about what all new things are here on this update. I have just installed it. And as always, your boy is here with the first video of iOS 17.6 Beta 1. Update came at over 5 gigabytes on my device. That is because I am coming from iOS 17.5, not even the 17. 17.5.1 so uh, the size may vary for you depending on which device are you using and which firmware are you coming from but in general this update will be a big update because it is the beta 1 and 17.6 is a big update after installing this update i did sacrifice around 1.5 gigabytes of my storage so if you are low on storage make sure that this update will take some of your storage so just back up your device or delete some of your stuff if you are planning on installing ios 17.6 beta 1 on your device but right now we all know that ios 17.6 is basically an update that we are getting right now just for the time being because ios 18 is what we are excited about ios 17.6 will not bring anything major or any big features or changes if you are expecting anything like that don't because ios 17.6 won't bring any big changes or any major features to your device but definitely i can tell you guys that after installing this update i do notice that my device feels a little bit more snappier and just scrolling through the device it feels a little bit more snappy the animations opening and closing apps browsing through the phone feels a little bit more refined and better not a big difference but yeah definitely some difference that I can notice coming from iOS 17.5 to iOS 17.6, which is a good change. Considering it is a 17.6 beta 1, it is a good change for sure. Now talking about the battery life, it is too early for me to talk about battery life right now. I will be talking about the battery life in few days, I mean, around two to three days. So make sure to turn on notification and subscribe to my channel because I will be talking about battery life on iOS 17.6 in my follow up video, which will be coming up in next two to three days. But right now, if I have to talk about battery life, it does feel a little bit worse compared to iOS 17.5. I mean, it is a beta and uh, what do you even expect from a beta version? I don't really think so you should have any good expectations in terms of battery life from a beta version and you should probably not even install this update on your device because come on ios 18 is less than a week away now and why would you install ios 17.6 beta right now when ios 18 is coming up on june 10th i am really excited for ios 17.6 public version because it will be coming up with a better battery life for sure fingers crossed and even more excited for iOS 18, I will be covering up iOS 18 and WWDC on my channel so you don't have to miss it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notification talking about features and changes on iOS 17.6. I haven't really found any feature or changes as such on this update till now. But if I will find any new changes or feature, I will post it on my Twitter handle at the rate tech hyped and it is linked below the like button. But some features and changes that have been tweaked a little bit is number one thing is home pod you connect your home pod the connection of home pod animation the handoff animation seems a little bit more refined and just a little bit more faster compared to earlier just a small change but yeah that is there if you do own any home pod you will be noticing the handoff feature working a little bit better and the animation of handoff feature a bit more silky and smooth then talking about the bug fixes the wi-fi bug is finally resolved on i US 17.5 there was a bug which was continuously disconnecting Wi-Fi for you guys on your iPads and your iPhones on iOS 17.5 and 17.5.1. That Wi-Fi bug is finally fixed on the iOS 17.6 beta 1. In conclusion, that's pretty much it for this video. The iOS 17.6 is a good update, but it is not exciting enough for you to install it right now. And I wouldn't really suggest you guys to install it right now because iOS 18 is right around the corner. Just wait for a few days. And even if you want to install 
all of beta version on your device just wait because ios 18 is gonna be amazing and i'm telling you guys you don't have to miss my videos on ios 18 because i will be covering up ios 18 in depth and i am one of the first person talking about latest ios updates as you can see here this is probably one of the first videos you are watching on youtube on this update thank you so much i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out and have a great day everyone subscribe to this channel if you haven't already